Hi, welcome to this session. In this topic, we will cover the importance and value of automation for Open RAN solution. MNOs are currently facing three key challenges. First is economics in terms of cost, both capex and opex, that they need to bear to operate the network and the profitability from it. It is a given that operator revenue is not keeping pace with the rate at which the data is growing. Costs are thus increasing significantly and improving profitability is very key. Secondly, vendor diversity and innovation is key in order to, for operators to be agile and innovative so that they can go after newer revenue opportunities and move up the value chain. Thirdly, it is important for operators to provide the best and class end user service experience, both in terms of quality of service, SLA and support. Now let's step back a bit and understand what are operators looking for in order to address the challenges. Operators need agility in order to launch newer features with faster time to market. This also helps in adopting fail fast principle. With traditional solution, operators need to wait for several months and wait for long to get feedback on newer services. This will help operators in going after newer revenue opportunities. Agility is also needed in terms of getting bug fixes faster. Operators need flexibility in terms of hosting the functions in different types of infrastructure like public cloud, private cloud, or hybrid cloud. Operators need an efficient solution that can make optimal utilization of resources and reduce power consumption. This will help in significantly reducing the cost. Performance is also an important factor in order to cater to the current use case needs as well as the future upcoming use cases. Elasticity in terms of scaling up or down as per the needs of the network and thus make efficient utilization of resources. Cost reduction in both CapEx and OpEx is also an important factor. With software-based virtualization solution, CapEx is significantly reduced. Automation and orchestration will further help significantly in saving OpEx or cost as such. RAM is one of the biggest cost factor for operators and also one of the slow to change to introduce newer features or services. Thus, it is obvious to go after the RAN solution in order to optimize cost and innovate the solution to become more agile. The entire telecom industry is going through a dramatic change that can only be compared to the change that data centers went through in 2000s, all driven by Moore's law. This is driving the need to move from costly proprietary solutions to cots and open interfaces based ones and create a broader vendor supply chain as such. There are legacy vendors whose solutions are proprietary and siloed for each G. Open RAN is a new movement to open up the interfaces to reduce cost driven by the ORAN Alliance to standardize the interfaces and tip to deploy and establish an ecosystem of MNOs and vendors. Deploying and maintaining and optimizing the networks require a lot of manual labor and results in high cost. This can be addressed with an automation DevOps approach in Open RAN solutions. Open RAN is trying to disrupt the traditional RAM solution that are closed, proprietary, siloed solution involving vendor lock-in. As you can see, the general consensus is that RAN is 60% of the CapEx OpEx. Reducing the cost for RAN will significantly help the service providers to cut down their CapEx and OpEx. Traditional RAN solution have been costly, siloed and proprietary solutions provided by a handful of vendors. Open RAN is trying to disrupt the traditional RAN solution that are closed and proprietary siloed solution involving vendor lock-in. Open RAN solution is a software-based solution with open interfaces that support and can be hosted on general-purpose cards-based hardware. 
RRUs can be bought from ODM OEM hardware vendors. General purpose COT servers can be used to host the baseband processing software based components. Open interfaces are supported between the different components, which enables interoperability between any vendor's components, thus avoiding vendor lock in. Outcome or advantages of the above solution are that it leads to reduced capex, open interfaces, hardware software disaggregation, avoids vendor lock in, scalable solution agile and flexible solution, 5G upgradable, and reduced OPEX. All these factors make Open RAN a need of the R for operators. Now listed here are some of the key pillars of Open RAN solution. Software defined solution, openness with support for open interfaces, white box based solution, cloud native solution, intelligence is inherently built into the architecture, all this will allow to a competitive innovative solution that will lead to a TCO reduction and allow operators to go after newer business opportunities. Cloud native Open RAN has these three or four key ingredients as such. Microservices based architecture, lightweight container based solution, CI CD to support agility and DevOps for better collaboration and flexibility. Virtualization and software-based solutions have become a norm. Virtualization has evolved over time, especially in telecom networks, network functions where purpose-built hardware-based functions, they then evolved to NFV with VM-based infra, and off late, they have evolved to CNFs or cloud-native functions with cloud-native applications, which are gaining prominence given the benefits associated with it. Cloud-native open RAN solution enables iterative fail-fast principle. This is essential for fast-changing environment. Open RAN network deployment can be driven by business needs to start with. Business needs triggers a feedback loop which goes through plan and design, build network, monitor and operate, and finally evaluate, which in turn can then again provide inputs to the business needs. Orchestration and management is key in order to achieve the benefits that we discussed earlier from cloud native open RAN solution. Automation with modern tools and technologies can bring in several advantages and help in different stages of the network deployment, starting with preparation to roll out a network or a new service, followed by creation to roll out the plan and prepare, operate and monitor the network once it is rolled out. Finally, terminate to shut down or scale down the network or the service as per the needs. This is very much aligned with the deployment model we saw earlier. Listed here are the four different stages of network or service deployment. Automation is needed at each of these stages listed here. First is setting up the network environment or the infrastructure and cloud automation plays a very key role here. Second is bringing up the radio site, which includes commissioning and provisioning a service and corresponding content. Zero touch provisioning or ZTP as it is well known will be used for this. Third is the testing and upgrade, which includes automated testing and upgrade so that the latest features and updates can be readily made available into the production. And CI CD will play a key role at this stage. Fourth is the optimization, which involves intelligent automated optimization of the network to provide best in class service to the subscribers. And AIML will play an important role in this stage. We'll see each of these above aspects in subsequent slides. Cloud automation. Setting up the network environment or infrastructure is the first stage in the network deployment. Cloud automation thus plays a key role in this stage. Key advantages it provides are listed here and some of the key ones are it automates management and operations of the net infrastructure, manages compute, storage and networks, common repetitive tasks are automated, reduces administrative overhead, facilitates in application lifecycle management and significantly reduces time and effort. It also increases the resource utilization and power consumption efficiency and so on. The next stage is zero touch provisioning. The next stage once the infrastructure has been set up is to provision the service or bring the a radio site up. Zero touch provisioning is the automated way of provisioning a service with no manual intervention needed at all. Key aspects of ZTP are automated software installation and configuration. It decreases complexity, reduces time, error and cost. Relatively safe for RAN installation, easier to deploy large number of sites as no site visits are needed with ZTP. 
Now, once the network service or service has been provisioned, it is needed that any new features or bug fixes or software upgrade or downgrade is done in an automated way. CI/CD does this to provide agility and flexibility to launch newer features, get bug fixes, and get software updates. Without automation, it can become too tedious task to send people to the site for software upgrade and testing. This can be time consuming, costly, and error prone. Whereas with automation with CI CD, software upgrade and downgrade can be done in seconds or minutes with no manual intervention. This can lead to significant reduction in cost and time. Once the network service or service has been provisioned, it is also necessary to monitor and optimize to fine tune the user experience. AIML is key for intelligent management and operations of the network. Networks are getting complex and the only way to manage such networks is by having self-learning and self-decision-making networks to automate the management and operation of the network. ORAN has natively built in AIML framework in the RAN architecture with the introduction of near arteric and non arteric intelligence controller functions. With the help of R apps and X apps, ORAN integrates AIML based decision making into the solution. Machine learning models are trained in the non arteric R app based on the data received from the different functions in the network for analysis. These are then used to do the inferencing and act accordingly in other RAN nodes to fine tune the network to provide best end user experience. Just to summarize in the end, Cloud Native Open RAN solution brings several technical features, technical benefits, and business benefits. Technical features mainly include automated orchestration and management, distributed functions, DevOps, and so on. Technical benefits include features, aspects like agility, flexibility, and elasticity. Business benefits wise, Cloud Native and Open RAN are need of the R, and to increase profitability and reduce cost, it is one of the must have for operators. With that, I come to the end of the session. Thank you.